Owned and operated by the city of Santa Barbara, Gibraltar is one of four major reservoirs in Santa Barbara County. It supplies water from the San Inez River to the city. In a town of 90,000 people, in an area that receives an average of 19 inches of rain per year, this reservoir is essential. And in 2020, we'll be celebrating its 100th birthday. 100 years old, how's that to wet your whistle? Gibraltar has really been a critical part of our water supply mix for quite some, some time, starting in 1920. It has allowed us to diversify our supply mix. Prior to that, we were really, uh, all we had was groundwater. And so to be able to tap into this pristine watershed back here has been huge and um, has really been able to stabilize the city's water supply for the last hundred years. In the Shumash times, population in the area was small. So creek flow and springs were able to sustain the population. But in 1782, Captain Jose Francisco Ortega settled in Santa Barbara and changed the waterscape dramatically. An initial water reservoir was built in 1806 to support the mission. And in 1889, a city engineer, George F. Wright, reported that the local water supply wasn't enough. He advised the city council to import water from the San Ynez River, starting the exploration of how to store and transport water to the city of Santa Barbara. In order to convey the water to the city. There was a need for a 3.7 mile tunnel, which was drilled and was actually the longest tunnel of its type in the world at, at the time. And so in 1904, they began construction of the tunnel and that lasted several years. And um, the dam was actually prolonged from being built because of World War I, um, but eventually the dam was constructed in, in uh, 1920. And so we're really excited to be celebrating the 100 year anniversary of the dam. Santa Barbara has a diverse water supply, such as desalination, Lake Kachuma, groundwater, state water, and Gibraltar Reservoir. So one of the critical aspects of Gibraltar is its location. It, it pretty much picks up about half of the watershed that feeds into Kachuma, so it's a substantially large watershed. The other flip side of having this pristine watershed is that it is vulnerable to wildfires, and we've seen our share of wildfires. It really had a pretty substantial hit over the last 12 years. But what makes this particular watershed vulnerable to wildfires is it's incredibly steep, it's incredibly dry back here and rugged, and so wildfires can sweep through here unchecked. And when they do, it leaves exposed just this loose soil that is easily mobilized when we start to see rains, and that's what's really made it uh, difficult here. Unfortunately, this loose soil, exasperated by recent wildfires, is causing sedimentation in Gibraltar. And with increasing sedimentation, there is a decrease in its capacity. So when Gibraltar was originally constructed, it was a 14,000 acre foot reservoir. And over the years, it had diminished and was eventually enlarged back to 14,000 acre feet and has been on a steady decline. So it is, it is a significant impact. Um, and we're continuing to look at other ways in which we can manage that sediment. A common question I get all the time is, why don't you just remove the sediment from the reservoir? And I think what is difficult for a lot of people to grasp is the magnitude of sediment that we're talking about. Uh, for example, the sediment that we got from the Zaka fire was approximately 1,500 acre feet of sediment that came into the reservoir. To remove that, res that sediment alone is somewhere in the $120 million range. And that is ignoring the environmental impacts and assuming you can remove and to put the soil somewhere, I have no idea where you would put it at this point, but we're just talking about the trucking and, dis and, and uh, removal costs. In times of impending storms, the city makes extra efforts to ensure the safety of Gibraltar Dam and its operational readiness. During a storm event, we actually have um, a minimum of two staff who are working here throughout the night to make sure that the debris that, that come into the reservoir are properly channeled through what they call the skimmer gate, which is a smaller gate that's used to pass through some of that debris. A major challenge for um, operations of the dam is maintaining access. Um, the dam is in a remote location. A lot of what the city or city staff do is, is make, maintain those roads by making sure that any washouts that occur during storms, that they're able to be cleared and um, that we maintain access so that way, no matter what's going on, we're always able to continue to convey water to the city. 
Staff isn't only called into action when there is a major storm event. They're constantly working to maintain Gibraltar. During non-storm events, they're operating the um, intake structure, which is a series of valves that are used in order to, to bring water from the, the reservoir itself and pass it through the dam and into the city through Mission Tunnel. Happy anniversary to Gibraltar. A hundred years of conveying water to Santa Barbara residents and with the work of water resources staff, hopefully a hundred more.